Uh, hello everyone, my name is Justyna Werner. Uh, currently I am an assistant professor in the Faculty of Chemical Technology of the Poznan University of Technology in Poland. Uh, I would like to present the result of a recent study uh, carried out uh, by our team. Uh, application of new thin film solid phase micro extraction coating materials uh, based uh, on deep eutectic solvents uh, for pre-concentration of trace amount of organic contaminants in environmental sample analysis. Uh, during uh, the presentation, I will introduce to solid phase microextraction and coating supports, uh, geometries and coating materials in SPME. Uh, then I would talk about deep eutectic solvents and their possible use in SPME technique. Uh, the solid phase microextraction was uh, developed uh, in 1990 by Professor Janusz Pawlicin. Uh, the basic uh, device for the SPME uh, technique is made of the quartz fiber uh, coat uh, with a thin layer of the extraction medium uh, fixed uh, in the needle. Uh, the process of uh, extracting analytes uh, performed by immersion uh, of the extraction uh, fiber in the sample or analytes are taken from the headspace over the sample. Now, in order to improve the extraction uh, efficiency, uh, new coating supports uh, and geometries, new coating materials are introduced uh, to SPME. Uh, new coating supports and geometries in SPME uh, can be uh, divided into two groups. A uh, technique with diffusion uh, mediated uh, by stirring and by um, flow through. And from the point of view of uh, the study uh, that we conduct in our laboratory, a thin film micro extraction is important, so, so I will uh, focus uh, on this kind of uh, coating uh, support uh, for SPME uh, during my presentation. Uh, the main difference uh, between thin film micro extraction and traditional SPME uh, is that it uses a larger uh, volume of sorbent, uh, which a more developed uh, surface area, which allows a very high sensitivity to be achieved. Uh, the first um, device uh, for a thin film micro extraction was used in uh, 2003, and since then many modifications uh, have been made, uh, both in the um, shape of the tin film supports uh, and the materials from which the supports uh, are made. Uh, glass wool mesh or carbon mesh supports uh, were introduced uh, in a few years ago, but we proposed uh, to use the stainless steel mesh uh, as supports. Obtaining a thin layer of coating material in the thin film solid phase micro extraction technique uh, is possible using several methods. Mm, the most common form of making the thin film layer is deep coating uh, in which a support uh, is immersed uh, several times in the mixture containing the coating material uh, that is dissolved or dispersed in the solvent or glue. A uh, hot dip coating is one of the most uh, efficient methods for producing coatings with a smooth surface uh, a few micrometers thick. Uh, from the point of view of the efficiency of extraction analyzed with different polarities, uh, the type of uh, coating material applied to the support uh, is also important. Commercial and other coating materials uh, for SPME uh, have been known uh, from years. Uh, in my presentation, I would like to show the possibilities of using deep eutectic solvents as coating uh, materials 
whose polarity can be uh, designed uh, before synthesis. Currently, I have found only five published uh, studies uh, that use deep eutectic solvents uh, as a coating material in various SPME uh, geometries. Uh, however, I believe that these compounds, uh, due to their properties, have great potential as coating materials in SPME technique. Uh, deep eutectic solvents uh, are eutectic mixture of hydrogen bond donor and hydrogen bond acceptor uh, with a low uh, freezing point below 100 uh, Celsius degrees. Mm, deep eutectic solvents has similar properties to ionic liquids, uh, but they are uh, easier to synthesis with no purification and less toxic. Uh, as uh, can we see uh, in the eutectic point diagram, uh, reaching the eutectic point means obtaining a mixture with a much lower um, uh, melting point uh, compared to the melting points of its components. Uh, this uh, allows uh, obtaining a deep eutectic solvents uh, that exist as um, solid at room temperature. The main scope uh, of our research uh, was the preparation of new coating materials uh, based on deep eutectic solvents and their application for the thin film solid phase micro extraction technique uh, to isolate and pre-concentrate trace amounts of um, organic uh, contaminants uh, such as parabens, uh, aldehydes uh, or uh, pesticide uh, followed by their chromatographic determination. We have synthesized uh, nearly 70 deep eutectic solvents uh, of different polarities, uh, initially uh, analyzing their physical chemical properties uh, such as um, solubility in water and organic solvents, uh, solid state uh, at room temperature and mechanical uh, stability on um, on a support uh, which uh, qualify them to be used as uh, coating materials in tin film solid uh, phase micro extraction technique. Uh, during uh, this presentation I would like to discuss three uh, deep eutectic solvents uh, that we have successfully used as extraction media. Uh, the compound market uh, as DES1 uh, was obtained by the synthesis involving the use um, the docosanol and 3-hexyl tetradecyl uh, phosphonium chloride uh, and its structure was confirmed by infrared spectra. In addition, uh, the obtained uh, structure were uh, analyzed uh, using the scanning electron microscope and uh, energy dispersive X-ray uh, spectrometry, which showed uh, the surface and confirmed the percentage uh, composition of the elements of the obtained uh, coating material. A similar set of analysis was performed for uh, the compounds uh, DES2 and DES3. Uh, the first stage of the analytical procedure relied uh, on the preparation of thin film of uh, deep eutectic solvent-based uh, coating material on surface of the stainless steel mesh. Uh, the thin film coating material uh, was dipped in 200 milliliters of a uh, sample. Uh, then the solution was uh, shaken to adsorb uh, the analytes uh, to the coating material. Uh, next, the support was uh, immersed in the small vol volume uh, of organic uh, solvent and uh, shaken to dissolve the analytes which were 
determined using the liquid chromatograph. Uh, then the conditions for proposed method, uh, such as the coating material selection and the surface of this material on the support, uh, the volume of sample, time of extraction, uh, desorption uh, solvent and volume of uh, this solvent, um, time of uh, desorption and sorting out uh, effect were uh, optimized. Uh, the proposed method was uh, validated for parabens and formaldehyde. Uh, the proposed method uh, with a DS1 uh, as coating material was used to determine uh, parabens in lakes waters with good uh, precision and recovery. Uh, while an analogous method with uh, DS3 as coating uh, material uh, was used to um, determine formaldehyde in samples of rivers and lakes waters. Uh, the proposed method is fast, accurate and precise and has been successfully applied for a pre-concentration of trace amount of uh, contraminants in surface waters uh, samples. And I think that uh, design and synthesis of uh, deputectic solvents uh, with properties allowing them to be used uh, as coating materials uh, is a very interesting perspective for SPME uh, technique. Thank you for your attention.